you know, when, when we start obsessing about someone in early dating, there's a tendency to fall into our own feelings of unworthiness, our own feelings of doubt. Am I enough? Are they gonna want me? There is a tendency to put this person up on a pedestal and give them respect and admiration and attention that they don't necessarily deserve, that they haven't earned, right? So so there's there's a lot of there's a lot of destructive stuff that starts to happen in a new relationship when we start obsessing about someone very early on. And I want to say like not only is it is it destructive, but it actually causes often in most cases will actually cause that person to lose attraction for you, right? So you're you're trying to build attraction with this person, you know, you, you, for whatever reason they've shown up like you're really attracted to them, you really like them, you really want this to go somewhere. And when you start obsessing about that, what, what happens is you actually will often cause that person to lose attraction for you. You will actually push that person away by becoming overly obsessed with them. So there's just, there's a lot of reasons why this isn't good. There's a lot of reasons why we really don't want to do this. And yet it is, it is so, so easy to just fall right into this. And like I said, you know, I know I've done this. Um, I'm sure, you know, if you're honest, you've done this because it's very human and it's a very easy thing to do. And look, it's like, it's understandable, right? Because we all, like, we want love. We, we don't, nobody wants to be alone. We want to find our person. We want to get on with it already. You know, we want to live the dream. We want to build the life. We want to get on with it already. You know, I, I mean, unless you're just kind of playing the field, I, I think for the most part, people don't really like dating. Like dating is, it's hard and it's exhausting and it takes a lot of work and a lot of effort and you gotta sort through a lot of people that you probably rather not even see, right? So, you know, it's it's very easy when you meet someone that you like to just start going to, I found it, let's get on with it. I found my person, I wanna just move forward. And the message that I'm gonna share with everyone today and what I'm gonna encourage everyone to do is as tempting as it might be, as much as you wanna just dive in and be like, let's get on with it already. Um, you really don't wanna do that. You really don't wanna do that. You really, like, it is so important, I would say, especially in the first three months. You know, and um, in the Inspired Love program, we we have a module where we go over the um, the natural timeline of a conscious relationship. And the, the very first stage of that timeline that I talk about is the first three months. like. From, from the time you kind of start talking to someone to your first few dates until, until you get into the place where you've established that we actually have something here that we want to build, right? And I say that, you know, it usually takes about three months to do that with someone. Now, let me be clear. If all you did was text each other for the first three months, then it's probably going to take six months for you to get there, right? So I'm talking about three months of regularly dating someone like going on dates with them. Three months of talking to them in between dates, right? So having phone conversations, texting throughout the day, that kind of stuff. Like, you know, if you've if you've been on that level of relationship with someone for about three months, like that's enough time to really start to say, okay, is this going somewhere? You know, are, are like, do we have enough of a foundation that we can build on something? Do we have enough of an interest in each other that we want to take this to the next level, right? But but even getting to that place requires, like I said, about three months of, of consistently dating someone, of getting to know them. And so many of us, you know, we want to... We want to tie it down in three weeks, right? Like we just want to, we just want to get on with it already. And so, especially in this period, what I call the discovery phase, which is the first three months, especially in this discovery phase period, it is so important to keep your feet on the ground, to not make any assumptions about what this relationship is or where it's going, to not, to not start, uh, you know, pushing it forward, like. Like, you know, there, there really needs to be a period of time where you have the freedom to get to know that person without any assumption that it's supposed to go somewhere. There needs to be that period of time where they have the freedom to get to know you without any assumption that it's supposed to go somewhere. And if you give each other that freedom and, and you know, 
it goes on for three months and both of you are still coming back for more, right? So there's been total freedom. Like you can stay, you can go, no non-attachment, like, you know, it's okay. Whatever you want, I'm okay with it, right? I'm willing to give you the space to explore this and decide what you want. And I'm gonna do the same thing. And if after three months, both of you are still coming back for more, you've reached a point where it's like, okay, if we're gonna keep doing this, let's talk about what we're doing. Right? Like, like, let's talk about where we want this to go. And I'm, I'm not saying that you can't have any conversations before that, but, but really, you know, pushing it forward you, before you start pushing it forward, you need to give each other the space to just feel out this relationship and, and really figure out how you feel about it. Let them figure out how they feel about it. And so what I really want to talk about in today's episode is how to avoid getting ahead of yourself in this first three month period, right? How to really let the discovery phase be what it's meant to be, which is this period of time where, this period of time where you have the freedom to get to know each other and figure out how you feel. And you know, this came up, I, I have a mastermind group, which um, I love this group. It's it's me and, and five ladies and we meet up uh, every other week and we just, you know, it's, it's some of the most real raw conversation that, uh, you know, any of us have ever had, right? We just, we really dive in and we talk about everything. And this particular issue has been something that's been coming up in the mastermind group lately, where, you know, it's like you meet someone and you like them and you get excited about them and you start trying to make something happen with them. And before you know it, that person starts distancing themselves. And why do they start distancing themselves? Because it's too much for them too soon. And what starts to happen is, you know, one, this person is a little bit confused because you're like, you don't really know them and they know that you don't really know them. And so you're trying to move a relationship forward with them and they're like, first of all, I don't really know you. Like, I don't know if I wanna move this relationship forward like that. And, and, and they're also like, you don't really know me. So how do you know you wanna move the relationship forward like that? And, and I think this is really, it, it gets so quickly overlooked because we like someone and we're excited about them and we just wanna get on with it. But from, a, from like an aware perspective, you know, if, if you're really conscious about what's happening, you've gotta check in and go like, wait, what am I so excited about? I barely know this person, right? Before I start planning our future together, before I start naming our kids, like I, I should probably actually get a clear idea of who this person is. And this person is on the other side going like, why are they so into me? 